the 133rd Independence Parade. Sponsored by Genetech and Main Street Oceanside. And we cannot start a parade in Oceanside without a countdown, especially from the kids. So what I want to do is I want to start from 10 and head on down. So can we start it up? Start me with a 10. to the Oceanside Independence Day Parade in Oceanside, California. My name is Jim Schroeder. I'm Christy Hawthorne. And we want to welcome you to our parade today. It's, it's amazing. We look up and down the coast highway and the sidewalks are full, anticipating in just a few minutes are the uh, first to come through for the parade. We just want to thank Main Street Oceanside for putting on this parade for all these years and we have so many great sponsors including Genentech and Tri-City Medical Center. You know this wouldn't be possible without volunteers and all of the different organizations uh, that get together to help put this on and Oceanside has had over 125 years of independence parades and uh, we're just happy to be here and you know, co-host another one. What was the first parade year? Yeah, the first parade in Oceanside for uh, Independence Day was in 1889, one year after we incorporated and became a city. I, th I think we, we were two years old then, weren't we? Or we were just one year as a city, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So it's a, it's a perfect day with the sunshine and a slight breeze coming off the coast. So it's a Chamber of Commerce day and we're just so excited to help folks celebrate our freedom and our independence. You know, we're, I'm looking at all the kids up and down the street, all the excitement, the anticipation, and energy that's all built up that are just waiting for that first parade, the bands yes. and all the other kids and the cars and everything that's going to be coming down. Yeah, and earlier, Jim, we saw we saw them passing out 5,000 American flags to the crowd, so everyone can have that patriotic spirit. They can wave their flags. So really <laughs> grateful again to volunteers yeah. and Main Street providing those flags. You know, it's important that all the kids really have the flag. They can take it home, put it in their bedroom or <laughs> wherever they got it, and have fun and, and uh, learn to appreciate what we have here, and especially with Camp Pendleton, the United sure. States Navy, yeah. and, and all the services that have been at Pendleton oh, through it, the years. And it looks it's like on. the first uh, parade uh, items are coming down the street, Jim. This is exciting. You know, two of the Main Street Oceanside ambassadors are carrying the parade banner. We're going to see that shortly. Uh, right now, we see some really cool decked out uh, golf carts with the parade. And, and beautiful American flags. Yes, yes. You know, we, we've got the fireworks that are going to be held on July 3rd. That, that's uh, going to be at the El Corazon uh, Center in Oceanside. Nine o'clock. Yes. Again, our, our parade is sponsored by Genentech, Tri-City Medical Center, the San Diego County Board of Supervisors, UPS, Waste Management. You know, so many great organizations and businesses help to fund this parade. City of Oceanside, SNR Towing, of course, KOCT. Most and uh, Dorothy's Military Shop and NK Towing. You know, so many great sponsors and more. We'll get to many of those to thank them. But we also want to thank the city of Oceanside and the residents for supporting this parade, coming out and showing their patriotic spirit, their love of Oceanside and the, their love of country. I think there are a lot of them are looking for their friends that are in the parade too. Well, sure. So they can yell that and is part cheer. Of it, isn't and that's, it? that's all part of the fun it of being is. here. It is. You know, and, and what what child, it just really brings the, the inner child out of you, too, because, you know, having the bands go by, the different floats, all of the uh, sights and sounds, it's just always very entertaining and part of what Oceanside is. You know, it's amazing through the years that we've been, a, it's, you know, talking about this parade and, and presenting it to uh, KOCT television, all the changes in the downtown area, the new hotel, the yes. restaurants, new hotels, I should say, 
the, the, the new restaurants and all the new businesses that we look around and the changes and everything that's evolving that makes this such a great city and our downtown area yes. just becoming a, a great center for fun, good evening activities, daytime activities. So we're very lucky we, we live here and are able to participate in all this. Yes, yes. Oceanside has seen a lot of changes. Um, we're sure to see a lot more, uh, but um, you know, a, a lot of things stay the same and showing our, our pride in, in our country is one of those things. And of course our relationship with our military has always been uh, very solid. And so if we've got a lot to celebrate, you know, uh, and freedom isn't free, uh, but we're, we're so grateful for the, the men and women who, who serve our country and uh, you know who provide us the opportunity to celebrate uh, today. I think we should have passed out, pa passed out maybe bubble gum or something so that they don't blow those <laughs> horns as much. Oh. <laughs> in the background, you well, can I'm hear sure that. Well, I'm sure it's going to be fun for the for yeah. the. Uh, to be able to toot yeah. and holler at yes, all the, yes. the it's units all a part as they of come it. by. Right. That's all a part of it, Jim. Right. <laughs> well, we're going to have some. Sights and sounds here coming soon from our parade. We're just anticipating that first look. They're about a block and a half down to, to, to the south of us right now. We're, we're broadcasting from the uh, right next to the ponds of the, uh, the Civic, uh, Civic Center and the Oceanside Library. And yeah. so we've got a great vantage point looking up and down the street. Yeah. And uh, on our screens, we can see the uh, the crowds. First Look at the crowds, the crowds uh, right. lining the streets. Yes, <laughs> waving their flags. Right. And just waiting, to, just like us, just waiting to, to see that that first uh, glimpse of the parade, Jim. And then holy <laughs> oh, and here, cow! And here they grab come. Here they hat. come. <laughs> and here they come. You know. So uh, as we said, two of Main Street Oceanside ambassadors are carrying the parade banner today. And ambassadors are volunteers who provide the visitor information downtown. And during the summer, you can find them near the pier Tuesdays through Saturdays. So they, they have a, a you know, wonderful service that uh, people can find information when they're visiting Oceanside, uh, where to go, where to find things, where to have something great to eat. and. Uh, you know, just what to do in our fabulous Find city. Find out about our theaters, the, the Brooks Theater, the, the Star Theater, and all of the production plays, yeah. about yeah. the uh, Museum of Art yeah. that we have, and uh, the Surf Museum, and all of the things to see and do in Oceanside. Yes, yes. So uh, Main Street and their ambassador program is a valuable asset to to downtown for both visitors and residents alike, just giving us information. And here I can hear the, the band coming. There's a band uh, right behind these ambassadors, Jim. I can hear the drums. I, I, as well as I. There's another great shot of uh, the, the kids lined up to see the parade. And we can see that band getting closer. Which yeah. just happens to be the 1st Marine Division Band. The 1st Marine Division Band. Yeah, they're based out of Camp Pendleton, California. They're going to provide the musical support for the military parades and the ceremonies, and we're so happy to have them here at Oceanside's Parade. And whether they're performing music or serving in a combat zone, the 1st Marine Division Band carries on this esteemed tradition and remains the pride of the division. So we're really grateful to have them uh, and welcome them to the Oceanside Parade. Absolutely. So we, we don't often think of these band members uh, serving in a combat zone, Jim, but no. uh, this, is, this is something that they, they do in addition to their, their, their military duties. And they're right in front of us almost. Yes. I beg you bet that the, about three or four seconds they break into a great song for us. Yes. You know, at Camp Pendleton was established in 1942. We we're next door neighbors with them. And here we're gonna be able to hear the sights and sounds of that band coming up real soon, right. Jim. Get your flags out, start waving. 
And we have so many military veterans that live in Oceanside. Right. Um, you know, they, they served their time at Camp Pendleton, retired here. So we have a great love for the military in Oceanside. And we just have a helicopter flyover, too. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Pasadena, eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, here's that band. Let's listen wow. to it. <laughs> With our Main Street volunteers leading the parade. The Halls of Mount Tezuma. All right. And then, then there we also have the 1st Medical Battalion Combat Ambulance right. Sailors and Marines representing 1st Medical Battalion, followed by the Field Ambulance Private. Now we've got the well Sailors and right. the Marines that are representing 1st Medical Battalion, followed by a Field Ambulance. Pride for this well-groomed Navy and Marine Corps team takes care of our service members. And then we've got the, uh, the Naval Hospital here, decked out in their Navy whites. And the commanding officer next to the, the immediately following is the color yeah. guard. Captain Roberts <laughs> and Command Master Chief Wayne George. They're riding in the antique vehicle, you'll you see. It's a Ford with a retractable hard top. Wow. Operated by Lieutenant Junior Grade Amy Keller and her husband, Marine Chiefs, uh, Chief Warner Officer Joshua Kelly. And the marching detail is comprised of both officers and enlisted and is led by the Chief Pe Se Pe Pe Senior Petico Officer Dominic Davinis and Chief Petty Daryl Jones. All right. And the mission of the hospital Camp Pendleton is to train and deploy and deliver quality health care. Oh. <laughs> well, now we've got the Escondido Mounted Posse. Uh, they were organized as a reserve police unit in 1948 and the first chartered mounted posse in the state of California. For nearly 75 years, the posse has been riding for Southern California communities. They're made up of volunteers and they make public appearances on horseback at community events. The Escondido Mounted Posse wants to wish Oceanside a wonderful, joyful 4th of July holiday. And next we have Congressman Mike Levin, who proudly, sorry, my paper's just blue, <laughs> who proudly represents Oceanside in California's 49th district and is joined by friends and supporters, serves on different veterans affairs committees, would like to thank all of our hometown heroes, including our service members, public safety officers, first responders, and frontline workers. Congressman <laughs> Mike Levin and his wife. Is it a cute little convertible there? Yeah. Good looking on Mustang. a beautiful day. Now we've got. Uh, let's see. This is uh, Assemblywoman Lori Davis. She's honored to represent the 74th District serving Oceanside, Vista, Camp Pendleton, and Southern Orange County. Assemblyman Davies serves as the Vice Chair of the Military and Veterans Affairs Committee and salutes all those who serve. She wishes everyone a happy and safe and meaningful Independence Day. <laughs> now, let's see. This is Mayor Esther Sanchez. She's part of a five-generation Oceanside family. She's a proud graduate of Oceanside High. Esther wishes everyone a wonderful star-spangled 4th of July. And she's also the first Latino mayor of our city. Latina. Latina, thank you. <laughs> hey, Esther, good to see you. <laughs> Esther's also, um, you know, came from our wonderful East Side neighborhood, which is so diverse culturally and really um, resonates with, with so many hometown residents. Right. And so close to Oceanside. It's our deputy mayor, <laughs> Ryan Kim. He Hi. is a lifelong resident of Oceanside. He's been serving on the city council since 2019. Prior to the city council, he was an Oceanside police officer. He is joined by his wife, Ivy, and daughter, Charlotte. Ivy is an occupational therapist, and Charlotte is the captain of her soccer team. They're being driven by George Jaramillo. 
in his incredible 1964 Chevrolet Impala Super Cord. I had a 64, but it uh. wasn't a convertible, <laughs> and I wish I still have that car. Uh. My first brand new car. That's cool, Jim. We're going to toss it over to CJ now. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here with Captain Peter Roberts of the Camp Pendleton Naval Hospital. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. And tell us what you like most about representing in this incredible event. Well, I think the Naval Hospital has a history of participating in the parade. We're so excited to be invited to participate. Uh, we really feel we're part of the community and it's just great to come out here and see the energy. Everybody's so happy and ready to celebrate. Absolutely. So is there anything else you would like us to know about the Naval Hospital, an amazing facility just up the street? It is an amazing facility. We have a couple of uh, key events this year. It's our 10th year anniversary of being in that new hospital, uh, which is such a beautiful place. It's a great place for people to come and, and get better. And it marks 80 years that Navy Medicine has been on board Camp Pendleton, taking care of Marines and, and our family members. Incredible work that you do up there on Camp Pendleton. So important to have such an amazing military presence here today. Um, thank you so much. Anything else you want to share about Camp Pendleton? Well, we, we love Oceanside. A lot of our sailors, of course, live in the area while they're stationed here. and Many decide to, to stay and live here because it's just such a great community. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Captain Roberts. All right. All right. Well, coming up is Oceanside Council Member Eric Joyce. Uh, he serves a council member for District 1 and lives with his wife and two children. He's an educator, previously serving on the Oceanside Unified School Board, in addition to serving as the chair of the North San Diego County NAACP's committee to end the school to prison pipeline. Eric is committed to community-driven decision-making, so each of our unique and diverse communities can thrive. Councilmember Joyce is accompanied by Mark Henry, the director of Lincoln Middle School's after-school program, STAR, S-T-A-A-R, who is mission is to enrich the lives of their students with success through academics and role models. Eric Joyce. And we've got another uh, car coming up here. Jim, you want to take that? I sure do. It's uh, Council Member Peter Weiss. Peter is a council member, has been in District 4 representative since 2020, but has been involved with the City of Oceanside since 1986. Peter was also former mayor of Oceanside. Peter and his wife, Janet, have raised four children who all attended El Camino High School, still <laughs> active in community sports as coach of a Tri-City Inline Hockey League. Uh, Peter still plays ice hockey for the Cheese and has also been known to be frequent various drinking establishments as a performer in a rock and roll band and a great guitar player. All right, we don't want to forget Oceanside Council Member Rick Robinson. District 2 Council Member Rick Robinson is riding with his wife Cheryl. Cheryl's retired from the Oceanside Unified School District where she worked supporting them for 16 years. Council Member Robinson has been busy sharing with residents just how our city works. Rick and his team have created a new CamCast, OSI Demystified, with production assistance from KOCT. This show can be seen on KOCT on his website on OSIDD2.com. And next we have coming up is Oceanside City Clerk, Zeb Navarro. He is the elected city clerk for the city of Oceanside. He'd like to wish everyone a happy 4th of July and would like to just thank our men and women in the armed forces, our veterans, our first responders for their bravery and courage. Cool looking Corvette. Yeah, very cool view of it too. Yeah. <laughs> I like that overhead shot they just gave us. Right. Then we've got uh, Oceanside City Treasurer Victor Roy. Now in his fifth year as city treasurer, Victor Roy is a California Treasury certified and a member of the California Municipal Treasurers Association. A UCLA grad, Victor is active in the U.S. Tennis Association, Oceanside Charitable Foundation, and the American Council of the Blind. Okay, we're going to talk to Mike Levin now. 
our congressman. So here we are with Congressman Mike Levin. Mike, would you like to introduce us to this beautiful girl? Absolutely. Well, this is my wonderful wife, Chrissy. Uh, we uh, have been married for 12 years as of tomorrow. So uh, the love of my life and best friend, and I can't do all the work that I do without having an incredible partner uh, who uh, helps keep the trains run on time. And that's what she does every single day. Excellent. Anything from you, Chrissy? Well, I just want to wish everyone an amazing 4th of July, happy Independence Day, and thank you to all who serve and make this freedom possible. What does it mean to you to be representing here today in Oceanside at the parade? Well, this is an extraordinary community. I'm so proud to get to represent this city. Wonderful people and an amazing relationship between the military and civilian community so many veterans in the community as well and it's my great honor to get to serve on the house veterans affairs committee where we get a lot of great things done on a bipartisan basis and that's how it's always going to be excellent we appreciate that yes our military is very very important and a great partner here how do you plan on spending your fourth of july everybody well <laughs> We're, we we cue the siren just for you. We're going to definitely have some barbecue, and then we're going to see some fireworks. And uh, just an opportunity to spend time with our family and our friends and just count our blessings. Remember uh, how fortunate we all are to get to live in this amazing country. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much, Congressman and Chrissy. Great to see you, and stay tuned for more parade action, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. While we were in the interview, we had the wonderful and great the Navy band passed yes. by, I believe from the Navy Hospital. And, and also, Jim, that was our uh, police, our new police uh, chief. chief, Kedrick Sadler. Yeah. He's a native California, a Marine Corps veteran, and he has served as uh, officer of the Oceanside Police Department since 2001, and then also was our Oceanside Police Department Detective of the Year, Detective Chris James. Um, he was recognized for developing a countywide protocol for combating catalytic converter theft, uh, leading to a 100% felony conviction rate and 50% reduction of catalytic converter thefts. So uh, it's a great asset to the Oceanside Police Department. And so we also want to thank our Senior Volunteer of the Year, Mary Klein, who just drove by. And we now we've had. got the next one, the Oceanside Police Officers Association. You want to take that, Sure Jim? will. The association facilities an unwavering commitment to the public safety and professional, professionalism within the ranks of the Oceanside Police Department. We strive for community partnerships, education, community outreach. We look forward to serving everyone and making our, computer, our community thrive. Awesome. And ne next... We're having coming right down the line is the Oceanside Fire Department Color Guard. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this they represent the fire department and the city of Oceanside. Well, we've actually got the Oceanside Fire Department Explorers uh, Group holding that banner coming, and that explorer group, you know, trains these young men and uh, women to. Uh, consider a career in fire department and training and probably paramedics and the like. Right, right. And it's a great profession to get into, too. They're, they're a hands-on training program for uh, ages 14 to 20. They're interested in careers in the fi fire service. Okay, we're going to go over to CJ. CJ's got an interview coming up. All right, what an amazing parade. I am so excited to be here with Assemblywoman Lori Davies. Welcome. Thank you. I, I tell you what, it is such an honor and a privilege to be part of this parade today. It really is. And this is your first time as Assembly Member 74th District um, with Oceanside. It is. This is my first opportunity to ride in this parade. I've been looking forward to it for so long. And obviously, you know, I come from a small town in Wisconsin, so parades like this mean everything. As you can see, we get to celebrate our public safety, our military, and all of our volunteers, the scouts, you name it. So it's, it's a time for community to come together. Absolutely. So this is an amazing downtown. What are your favorite parts about the downtown in Oceanside? 
You know what I think I love about the downtown is you don't see a lot of downtowns anymore. And so yeah. it's really that opportunity where you get to um, talk to all the small business owners. They get to know each other. You've got a diversity down here. So it's something you can go and spend the whole day and do a little shopping, which I love to do, and um, enjoy the restaurants and, and bring the whole family. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. <laughs> Thanks. And thank you. While we were in doing the interview, we've had several units pass us. Of course, the Oceanside Fire Department with their fire engines, the Oceanside Ambulance, which is just in the process of coming through right now. Our paramedics preserve and protect the property and environment. Hats off to their continued service. And also the Oceanside Fire, Oceanside fire Department lifeguards, which now uh, that new life guard comes upon the department of yeah. the fire department, <laughs> and they're there since, with us since 1926. We've had lifeguards. Also, now we've got Reach Air Medical Services. They're an emergency response team located at the Oceanside Fire Training Center and serves the Oceanside community with life-saving helicopter and transport services. They're a team of pilots, paramedics, and nurses who serve our community and others in a time of need. Look out for the Reach Helicopter, a twin-engined EC-135, flying by the parade route, and we've already seen that, Jim. That's right. And don't forget that CERT, that was the Community Emergency Response Team that just came through also. And now... This we, is Saishia Austin, the city of Oceanside's Martin Luther King Jr. Community Service Award recipient for 2023. This annual award recognized co contributions to improvement community life, develop positive relations in the community, and enhance the lives of individuals. Uh, well deserving. She's been giving back to our community for over a decade. She's riding in the new Go O Side electric vehicle, nope, or she right is here. right there. Okay. And here we have the Go Side. Okay. You which is take that running then? all over Oceanside now in a number of different directions. And we welcome it. You can ride for $3 anywhere or $6 total for a car all right. anywhere within the city. Which, Jim, we're going to go over to Eileen and the Mayor Esther Sanchez right now. Alrighty then, here we are with Mayor Esther Sanchez. Welcome, Esther. Thank you, thank you, Eileen. So excited. Great to see you. Tell us what your participation means in the parade today. Well, you know, I was born and raised here and part of a, you know, many generations, of, but I have been watching this parade since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. And to be able to be the mayor and participate as the mayor is just, you know, just an exciting thing. Um, and to represent all of our community, it's just, uh, you know, um, of course, I've seen it grow from like 30, 40,000 people to now 178,000, yeah. So very excited. What's going on tomorrow at Heritage Park? Well, funny you should ask that, Eileen. Tomorrow is our all OHS, all class reunion. And the biggest one, the 50th, is for the class of 73, which is, you know, um, I'm class of 74. It's going to be a big party. Also, class of 69 is doing it to the hilt. But it's at Heritage Park. Every year, uh, the weekend after the after Father's Day, and so everyone's going to be out there. OHS, we are the best. <laughs> I love it, Esther. One more question: Tell us about the the growth here in downtown Oceanside. How proud of you, proud you are of that? Oh, I am so deeply, deeply proud because um, this started about 20 years ago. Um, we all get, got together on what the the beach resort should be, and. It has been wonderful to see wonderful young entrepreneurs coming in, especially restaurants, farm to table, just really doing it. And they believed in Oceanside. We believe in them. And this has just made everything just so fantastic. Well, Esther, we're wishing you and your family a happy 4th of July. And everybody, we're going to go back to Christy in just a moment. Happy 4th of July. Bye. Okay, right. we're back. Okay. You know, while the in interview, we had the Genentech car just went by, yes. and that's the veteran, honoring Navy veteran Lance Waldron and Brenda White in their 1956 Ford, representing our major sponsor, Genentech, which we thank very much. Genentech pioneered biology industry and revolutionized the treatment of the world's most complex challenges here, right here in Oceanside. And today they're a member of the, of the Roche Group with a large new uh, addition that they're adding onto their uh, 
facility of a uh, number of yes, US, yes. Uh, also passed by Jim was Tri City Medical Center, which we'll thank again. But now we've got our waste management coming through. Waste management wants to remind everyone: heroes are all around us. Our hero, our heroes drive trucks. Happy birthday, America! And then, so going back to Genentech, you know, they are our presenting parade sponsor. They pioneered the biotechnology industry and revolutionized the treatment of some of the world's most complex health challenges. Today, as a member of the Roche Group, as you just mentioned, Jim, the company remains dedicated to the pursuit of breakthrough research and development of transformational medicines for diseases like cancer and multiple sclerosis. So Genentech wishes all of us a happy and safe 4th of July. And Tri-City Medical Center, they're keeping Oceanside strong. Um, you know, they're a great supporter of this parade. The Tri-City supports a community, its most vulnerable populations through partnership with 80 local nonprofits. Look at the, the beautiful- Work on the management. Clean garbage truck. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go to CJ now and she's got another interview for us. All right, we are here with council member Eric Joyce. Welcome, Eric. Thank you so much, it is amazing to be here today. So tell us, what does it feel like to be at your first parade as a city council member for District 1? It is an incredible day to be in District 1. Uh, like most days, everybody wants to be here and we see our beautiful, diverse community lining the streets, celebrating our local high schools, celebrating all the work that our police officers and our firefighters and everyone who's in service in our city are doing. Uh, it is a completely beautiful celebratory day and I'm just excited to be here. Absolutely, have a great 4th of July. Okay, okay we, we just saw our hometown so. hero, Ann Garrett, go by over 12 years as a spokesman of the Move Your Feet Before You Eat Foundation. You can experience a lot with your many miles of smiles with friends and family, no matter your running or your walking pace. So as an octogenarian, she inspires many to get out there, walk or run and enjoy. Uh, don't forget the turkey trot, Oceanside's turkey trot at Thanksgiving. It's a hugely popular walk, walk, run or whatever you wanted to do. The winners of the different categories will become goodwill ambassadors for the city of Oceanside, Oceanside Chamber of Commerce and do community service work throughout the year. All right, now we've got our hometown hero, Jimmy Figueroa coming up and his lowrider there. Oceanside native and resident Jimmy Figueroa, he's an executive director of Operation Hope North County. It's a homeless shelter for families with children and single women. He helped to develop and implement this program, Resilience Community Mentoring, and he worked with Libby Lake, and, and he's an alumni of Miracosta College. He holds a BA in political science from UC Berkeley, and he's a Juris Doctor degree from the Thomas Jefferson School of Law. He's a strong community advocate for the underserved. And next we have the Operation Hope. North County offers safe and care and supportive environment to families with children and single women experiencing homelessness as they rebuild their lives and reclaim independence. All right, now we're gonna go to CJ. Uh, he, she's got another interview. All right, I am back with Deputy Mayor Ryan Kime. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Uh, so. How amazing is this parade? It's fantastic. Um, it, growing up here, going from um, Wisconsin all the way here and seeing someone in every different part of your life, whether it's growing up or someone you worked with, it's just incredible. It just, uh, Main Street does a great job putting this on every year. Yeah, and speaking of Main Street, what is your favorite highlight of downtown Oceanside? Oh, it has to be. Uh, yeah, all of it. Of, of course, the beach. Well, the beach. The beach. It's, everything starts at the beach, right? And then um, our restaurants, I mean, I, what could you not like right now? So it's just, it's fantastic. So what are you doing for the 4th of July? I'm um, hopefully just relaxing with the family at the beach. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> at the beach, thank you. All right. And next we have our hometown hero, Daniel Guluel. Uh, Daniel's a wheelchair rugby champion, a math educator, volunteer, and dog lover. He states, I broke my neck when I was 16 years old in Wisconsin, but that didn't stop me from pursuing my dreams. I moved to Oceanside in 1994 and loved it. 
Daniel won a gold medal winner at a 2000 Sydney Paralympics playing wheelbear rugby. He received his education from Miracosta College uh, and also the University of San Marcos and then worked the Math Learning Center for 17 years at Miracosta College helping students succeed. All right. So we've got another float coming down or a parade uh, participant, Canine Companions. But first, as they're coming down, want to thank Downtown Oceanside Property Improvement District, the Beach Service Program, Shop Local Oceanside, Farmer's Market, Sunset Market, Taste of Oceanside. And, you know, they're just uh, so many sponsors that are sponsoring uh, the, this parade. So just want to thank everyone for sponsoring us and then Take us to the Canine Companions. All right, Canine Companions is a national nonprofit right here in Oceanside that provides highly trained assistant dogs to adults and children with disabilities free of charge. Adults and children are placed with the assistance of the dogs to increase their independence. It's amazing to watch these graduations. The dogs are trained Aww. to perform over 40 commands, but they also provide unconditional love. Representatives today include volunteers, puppy raisers, assistant dog recipients, canine and companions proudly supports our nation's hometown heroes. All right, we're going to get ready to go to Tri-City Medical Center with Eileen. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. We're here with Dr. Jean Ma from Tri-City Hospital and Linda Wolf from the women, the auxiliary program at Tri-City Hospital. What does your participation in the parade mean to you today, Jean? Oh my goodness, being part of this today, you know, Tri-City has, uh, Oceanside has been a, a, a big part of our beginning, our origins for over 60 years. We love the fact that we're seeing Oceanside really become recognized for the glory of all it is and to recognize our heroes here, but at the same time to remember that it's still about this community and the people here that support this city. We're just so grateful to be a part of it. Thank you so much. And Linda? Okay, as president of the Auxiliary, I work with 165 Homeland Heroes every day. So we want more volunteers, if possible. Just email orientation at tcmc.com. Excellent, thank you so much. All right, everybody. We're looking forward to getting back to the parade. We're gonna go back to Christy. We just, while we were doing the interview, we had a community activist, Gwen Sanders, came by, a volunteer for the Oceanside, for more than 40 years serving on the Community Relations Commission, as well as Police and Fire Commission. Uh, she's been volunteering for so much all throughout the city. Also, we have KOCT, which is our persons that are putting on this wonderful parade and putting it on television for us. It's being broadcast live on cable TV in Oceanside, and uh, uh, it's streaming AT&T, and it's available in 80% of the homes in Oceanside. Thank you, KOCT, <laughs> for all you do. And Main Street came by also. Yes, and, they're uh, still they're, coming by. They're still coming. In Oceanside, the pedestrian-friendly community, unique and exciting attractions, including both daytime and evening activities for residents and visitors alike. On behalf of downtown Oceanside business, we wish you a happy Independence Day parade. Happy birthday. And also bringing up KOCT at that very beginning, was the chief executive officer and founder Rick Wright. He's partnered with their board chair Kim Millwood. Uh, they were uh, heading off that parade of the K uh, Main Street Oceanside. So Main Street is responsible for so many wonderful things in downtown Oceanside. The Sunset Market and the Farmers Market has really transformed the way people think about downtown Oceanside. We're very grateful for them and supporting this parade. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have prayed. <laughs> now we've got the St. Mary Star of the Sea Catholic Church and School. <laughs> okay, the uh, they're 
the preschool school through eighth grade as Catholic school celebrated 72 years of educating the Oceanside community in a faith-based education by creating a safe environment, excellent in academics, and preparing students for high school and college. The parish school is guided and formed by St. Mary Star of the Sea Church and Peerview Way, Go Stars. Yeah, and I'm so happy to say that my daughter Jessica attended preschool through eighth grade. I see Marilyn in the parade, my granddaughter Becca's friend, and my granddaughter Becca goes to St. Mary's school. So I just love St. Mary's. It's just within a block or two of your it's house, right, too. Right. <laughs> now, what do we have coming up here next, Jim? We have CJ. Oh, okay. We're going to switch it over to CJ with another interview. I'm here with a truly amazing hometown hero. Jimmy Figueroa is here. Welcome, Jimmy. Oh, I'm just so honored to be here today. This has been an amazing experience and just truly thankful, truly thankful to have this experience with my family, my community. It's, it's been a tr tremendous honor. Oceanside is so very proud of you. What an amazing honor to get this recognition. Yeah. So well deserved for all that you do for this community. Yeah, I, you know, we, we giving back to the community is something that we do. I mean, being born and raised here and uh, just seeing the different needs, seeing the different neighborhoods, the different pockets of Oceanside that can really use not just, um, you know, our, city, our city's help, our organization's help, but just the individuals, the residents, to give back in any way that we possibly can. And again, it's, it's just an honor to be here. Yeah. Well, you always such a strong message of look out for others. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I, and I think that's what we do for our city, right? I think that we all see that there's areas that uh, require uh, service and help and whatever we can do um, as a community uh, to give back, that's how we lift up each other. So I'm just honored and thankful. Yeah. Hometown hero, Jimmy Figueroa. Okay, and during the interview, we had the Life of Liberty Adult Day pro program came by President the 2023 King Nestor Diaz and Queen Marciela Gonzalez. Gonzalez, I'm sorry. Life of Liberty has served individuals with intellectual disabilities for nearly 50 years in Oceanside. We promote success, successful independence by teaching and number of other different things. All right, now Jim, we want to recognize the Friendly Children's Garden Preschool and Daycare walking by. They've been serving local children for almost 20 years. In addition, their preschool and after school program now has an infant program. So this is the Friendly Children's Garden Preschool and Daycare. And what's coming up next here? Next is coming up, we have the uh, San Diego North County Lions Club. Uh, the uh, North County Lions Club, a nonprofit service club, service the club was chartered in 20, 2009. Its members have worked on numerous projects. They're committed to serving and making a positive difference in the community and around the world. <laughs> and they've got a lion on their truck, so representing the Oceanside Lions Club, or it's a San Diego North County North Lions County. Club. <laughs> Sorry. <Right. laughs> So just want to take a, a brief moment again and thank our sponsors, Waste Management, <laughs> UPS, the City of Oceanside, Oceanside Police Department, SNR Towing, again, Mosin, Dorothy's Military Shop, the, our, our three big sponsors, Main Street, Genentech, and Tri-City Medical Center, of course. We can't say enough about them. I mean, we've got another group of uh, uh, coming up here. Jim, you want to take that? And yeah, that's the Miss Oceanside, Miss Teen Oceanside, and their princesses as winners of the 2023 Miss Oceanside Scholarship Pageant, sponsored by the Oceanside Sea Lions. Miss o Teen Oceanside, Karis Ho, Miss Teen Oceanside Princesses, Adriana Milan, Solo Royo, Gabriela Casian, and Vanessa Ramos, also Miss Oceanside, Rihanna Holly. So we thank all these beautiful young ladies for coming out today and spending a Saturday afternoon morning with us. The winners also become goodwill ambassadors for the city of Oceanside, the Oceanside Chamber of Commerce, and they do community service work throughout the year. We thank them for all their time. Yes. 
Also, Save Our Sand, Save Oceanside Sand. The SOS Oceanside is a group of advocates for sustainable sandy beaches and Oceanside, which is so important. Working with local, regional, state, and federal authorities, they encourage the city of Oceanside to design, approve, and fund a, a permanent solution to protect and restore our natural ecosystems, which are disappearing from our beaches. The SOS fully supports Oceanside's beach pilot project to restore shoreline habitat, safety, sand, and public access to our beaches. And next we have the Aravan Warriors Oceanside, a 501c3 a nonprofit whose mission is to bring veterans together using humor and camaraderie in order to prevent veteran suicide and improve mental health. If you're a service member, come and hike with them in the next Silkies hike here in Oceanside, October 21st. Thank you. All right. Got another group coming up here. Oceanside Handmade. Oceanside Handmade is here to spread creativity through the community. We offer DIY and craft make and take activities at Sunset Market and local businesses around town, as well as art supplies and art crafts uh, kits. We will have, be a make, have fun making and take activity at Beer Town at the After Parade block, block, block Party. <laughs> I gotta get it then. All right. DIY is do it yourself if you didn't know, and that's, that's right. where that creativity comes in. Next, we have the Daisy Troop uh, 1334 as the Girl Scouts discover the fun, friendship, power of girls together. Girl Scouts take part in fun activities that show them they can do and be anything with the dream. Uh, two. 334 Emerson Kylie, Sienna Olivia, uh, M. Celia, Lily, Daisy, Harlow, <laughs> Olivia, Madeline, Julia, Julia, and Reese. Got them all. All right. Okay. It looks like we might be going to another interview soon with, with uh, Eileen, but we also want to thank the San Diego County Board of Supervisors. Special thanks to Supervisor Jim Desmond for the generous grant contribution to help and make this parade happen. Now we're going to go over to Eileen. Alrighty, we're back live here with the one and only hometown hero, Ann Garrett. Welcome, Ann. Thank you very much. This has been wonderful, wonderful experience. Great, and she's with her dear friend, Kathy Kinane. You want to say happy 4th of July? Happy 4th of July, a little bit early, but we love the parade. <laughs> so happy you two could participate. Anne ran her first half marathon at age 72. So Anne and I ask you, what's stopping you? At age 89, she is still trucking, walking, jogging, getting on out there. She is an inspiration for all. Well, uh, someone once told me that motion was lotion, and so I believe it, and I tell anyone I see, just keep moving, and you'll keep moving for as long as you can. I love it. You're an inspiration to me, Anne, and all the people watching back at home. And Kathy, anything you want to say about anything upcoming for the 4th of July? Any big plans with the family? Well, we'll be watching, we'll be out at El Corazon watching the fireworks. It's been a tradition. We love it. Well, we can't wait, and we're just so delighted to have you here today, Thank Anne. We so wish you the best. Thank you for inviting me here. I feel very honored. I really do. Thank You're you. welcome. Congratulations, my dear, on being Oceanside's hometown hero. All righty. Back to Christy. Baton twirling. Christy. Yeah, so Solis. we've got the Baton Twirling USA, the soloist Georgiana. She's 17 years old. She's twirling fire, or we're going to see that real soon. And then we's also, we also have the 1923 Miss Twirlette for City of Oceanside. Junior Core Baton Twirlers led by Elizabeth and Kiana Garcia. And in the golf cart uh, is the Junior Core led by Lila Jimenez, age eight. She's eight years old, so very exciting. Uh, to have see all these twirlers and twirlers and batons are part of a parade if I ever saw one. I wonder if that's a mistake. 1923. Uh, well, Ms. yes, Twirling. it probably is. That's a <laughs> hundred years of old. I mean, she may have to be in like 110 or something. So 
Some, somewhere we're in there, we have Miss Twilight City of Oceanside. I think that's 2023 by Well, let's chance. hope so. All right. Now we see some great baton action here. Throwing and catching and twirling and catching. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is the next one coming up. Jim, you want to take that? I will. It's just a little far out there, but it's Oceanside Dog Beach Initiative. It's a nonprofit organization that's petitioning the city to allow dogs on the beach. We believe everyone should be allowed to enjoy the beach with their dogs. Just the most. San hey. Diego coastal cities to do this. Look at that great view, Jim. There's us. <laughs> just thank everyone for coming out to the parade, the great support we're receiving from the community and of course our sponsors can't thank Main Street Oceanside enough and of course you know Tri-City Medical Center and K towing at the downtown residence taste of Oceanside Sunset Market and the list just keeps going on under the wonderful participants that help us farmers market shop local Oceanside beach service program downtown Oceanside improvement property district all sponsors of this wonderful parade today. Yes, yes, we couldn't do it without them. And we're so grateful for all the volunteers who give of their time to make this happen, to set up the parade route, guide people, you know, everything that takes to make this happen. And now we've got a close up of those doggies coming. You know, the, the uh, part of, they, they believe everyone should be allowed to enjoy the beach with their dogs, just like the San Diego coastal cities do. And where they're asking support and tell the management of the city that you want dogs to be allowed on the beach. So they have positions, uh, petitions, excuse me, uh, that they're having people sign for, for potentially to bring this to fruition. And you can sign that petition at OceansideDogBeach.org. And now we're going to go to CJ, who's going to talk to our new police chief. All right. I am here with Police Chief Sadler. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. I'm also here with Detective James of the Oceanside Police Department. Thanks for having me. All right, Kedrick, so tell us, what is it like your first parade as police chief of the city of Oceanside? It is very exciting. What I love about it is that we bring our community together to celebrate America, celebrate our first responders, celebrate our police and fire, our veterans. And it's just it's beautiful seeing all the diversity here in our, our community, all coming together, all having a good time, and it's just, just wonderful. And Detective James, what do you like most about this event? A lot of what the chief said, but also I just, I like to see the overwhelming support the community has for us. It really means a lot, and I don't think people understand how much it means, but it's very important to all the officers and detectives. Absolutely. Well, we love our Oceanside Police Department. All right, we're back to the Oceanside Parade here, and we've got a group of another twirlers. Uh, the beautiful, dressed in their royal blue, marching alongside in their little white shoes. Again, all part of the Oceanside Parade with batons high and those high leg kicks. And I believe they must be a part of the uh, Baton Twirling USA group, Jim. I think they are. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and there's some more shots of our dogs, our local dogs here, looking for uh, a space to enjoy the beach along with all of the Oceanside residents. <laughs> the dogs in the red, white, and blue, just as happy as they can be, I think. They, they love all the attention. It's a dog day summer. <laughs> all right. And that's uh, leading up this dog day here. Uh, it says, unleash my beach. Again, the, the call to be able to walk your doggy along the beach is important to all of these dog owners. And again, the dogs are just so happy to be amongst and uh, the crowds and amongst all the excitement. And they all seem to be getting along with one another too. You know, it's nice, it's not real warm today too, so it's, it's good for the dogs to walk on the streets. It does not, doesn't hurt on their paws or anything like that. Yes. Uh, 
All right, so cute. I love their, they're dressed up and now we've got, what do we got next, Jim? You know, we have Brothers Six Charities, and it's brothers that in nonprofit fraternal organization dedicated to the study and preservation of the heritage, as well as the continual beautification of North San Diego County. They're also partner with many local charitable organizations in an effort to help those who are less fortunate in the community. The Brothers Six, along with the Escondido History Center, collaborated on the resurrection of the historic festival, started in 1908 with a staple in North County for over a century. Uh, they also worked with local American Legion Post 149 to uh, plan and execute the Veterans Day Parade in Escondido. So that is quite an organization. Yes. Their main charter of creating plaques and monuments and dedication of sites historical significance is still the foundation of this organization and will continue moving forward. So please welcome the brothers, uh, the sisters of six. <laughs> well, now we've got the ocean needs more friends. The Surfrider Foundation is dedicated to the production and enjoyment of the world's oceans, waves, and beaches for all people. I love the shark. Yeah. San Diego chapter volunteers participate in beach cleanups. They advocate for policies to protect the coastal environment for future generations and remind us that the ocean needs more friends. And next we're followed by Lenny Gay. The best place to live is Oceanside. Wonderful atmosphere. Summers here are the greatest. Thank you veterans and active military. <laughs> Lenny Gay. All right. And, and next up, we see some roller skaters coming up, but um, we'll, we'll wait to see what that's all about. But they're part of the North County Derby Alliance. And you can see them in this shot here as the parade route continues north on Coast Highway. <laughs> Looks like they're doing some tricks there. So we've got the Odd Fellows at the Odd Fellows, Oceanside Odd Fellows, are a benevolent order that's been here in the city before Oceanside was incorporated. Much of our city founders were practicing Odd Fellows, and Oceanside Odd Fellows continues to participate in the community after all these years. If you think you're odd enough, come join the Oceanside Odd Fellows. And it's brought to us on a wonderful truck of SNR Towing, who are great in help in one of our wonderful sponsors, SNR Towing, for support. We thank them for their support of all the vehicles in the parade. Yes, and now we've got the North County Derby Alliance. You can see them close up. They're a nonprofit. Uh, they're based at MLK Park in Oceanside. They're a group of women from all walks of life committed to providing the, our community with strong, athletic female role models who give back and volunteer with other local nonprofits. They're always looking for new skaters, so if you want to try it, uh, they've check them out. You can watch them in action on July 15th at 6 o'clock at the MLK Park. And they've There's got some, some tricks to show us, something too. Something for you to do in your spare time. <laughs> and if you've got good balance, oh, look at here. They've got a little rolly, roller derby action going on. With one on with a dog, too. And they can stay balanced. <laughs> Kudos to them. Kudos, yeah. <laughs> And next, we have the San Diego Humane Society, a nonprofit organization which provides animal services for, for 14 cities within San Diego County. We not only care for more than 40,000 animals in our communities annually, but we share the expense we have gained through expertise, excuse me, through our innovative programs with shelters nationwide so they can serve more lives in their communities. <laughs> They've also got their neuter scooter coming up here, Yeah, Jim. that, new, that <laughs> S snap neuter scooter is proud to be the red, white, and blue. Also proud to have spayed and <laughs> neutered over 80,000 dogs, cats, and rabbits throughout San Diego County. Mm -hmm. Did you know that two unaltered dogs and their offspring can produce over 70,000 puppies? Wow. Wow. Two cats, over 400,000 felines, fix your pet and help save lives. 
And a lot of these little doggies are happy again to participate in the parade. They never knew it hit them. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, no, it's great. If you care about your pets, you'll get them spayed or neutered. We have the Oceanside High School Marching Band with Oceanside Cheerleaders. Uh, the, and this is, is, I hate to say this, but this is the the 60th anniversary this weekend of the class of 1963 with the reunion from Oceanside High School. And I happen wow. to be one of those wow, of that class. Jim. I know, wow. older, older than a dog, <laughs> <laughs> older than a tree. But the Pirate Regime and Oceanside's premier competitive win group, the group has received superior, excellent ratings and placed consistently in the top of the field. The Oceanside, Marching band. All right. Great history, great numerous individuals have all graduated from there. And they have an They're excellent great. band. Right. You know, the high school was formed in 1906. So Oceanside High School is just a long legacy here in, in our city. Proud Pirates. There you go, go Pirates. <laughs> Right. Going to take a listen to some of their instruments here as they go down the street. Oh. It's a grand old flag. I love that song. <laughs> and I'm sure they just had a large graduating class just a few days ago, oh, yeah. too, down at the amphitheater in the beach. It's tradition. All right. Now we've got, it's Play Hard Dance Company. The, is that what this is, Jeff? I believe it is, yes. Yes, wow. They're an adult performance dance company. They offer regularly scheduled dance classes for adults and they perform through San Diego. Come join us for dance class or watch our showcases. So this is the Play Hard Dance Company. All right. And it's, you know, kind of gives me a cheerleading kind of vibe with the pom-poms and the short skirts, but. Get you off the couch. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's all good, right? All right Part of sure. a great parade. Oh, I hear some rumbling coming up here. We've got, uh, let's see. Veteran owned. Yeah, we've got the Montford Point Marine Association, Oceanside Chapter 44. And they were formed in Philadelphia in 1965 to promote the legacy of the first African Americans in the Marine Corps during World War II. They were trained at Camp Montford Point, North Carolina from 1942 to 1949. At 20,000 Montfort pointers were awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 2012, and that includes Oscar Culp and George Mitchell. And we've got Brian Criven, George Mitchell, Yolanda Mitchell, and Dana McGarvey in this little Ford pickup truck here. And well they deserved. are descendants well of uh, the, the Montfort Point Marines. And then we have the American Legion Riders Group, which are veterans and their families in the American Legion Riders Chapter 146 that enjoy motorcycle riding. They come from all services participate in their... <laughs> I think they drowned me out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard act to follow, you got Jim. It. Yeah, really. Well, now we've got the Veterans of Foreign Wars post 10577. They're a congressional chartered veterans organization who as soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen serve our nations in wars, campaigns, expeditions on foreign soil, or in hostile waters. They are Oceanside Veterans of Foreign Wars, post 10577. Thank you for your service. Thank you. And they're followed by those heart, all the Harleys and the uh, motorcycles. That's a tough one to Yes, control. yes. <laughs> For a whole route. 
Oh, we've got some military vehicles coming up here, but first, I think we have the Veterans Association of North County. You know, it's located right off of uh, I-5 and Mission. The VANC, V-A-N-C, VANC, uh, serves as a one-stop resource service center for all active duty military veterans and their families. VANCE has a full service banquet stays offered to the general public. Couldn't join them from fun evening at bingo every Wednesday night. And that was the former police station too, many years it ago. Was, it so was. it has a whole new life. The All American right. veterans. Vance. And they're also pulling the American Legion Post 760, another great uh, military organization. And again, men and women, thank you for your service. And there's the folks from Vance. The Veterans Association of North County does so much. They're GI committed Corps. to our military veterans. And they've got quite a, a send up here with all of their vehicles. Sure they've got the Buffalo Soldiers a Motorcycle Club of Oceanside. A lot quieter too. <laughs> all right. And then we've got uh, what do we got? Again, the different organizations that Team are Southern. all part of, of uh, the veterans group here, the VANS. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, we've got William Walker. Is that who this is? Uh, it sure is. William Walker and Sr. I love the most beautiful bitty beautiful city in Oceanside. I am so proud to call Oceanside my home. God bless our city. I would say yes. you retired United States Marine Corps. <laughs> All right. And, and now we have uh, yes. the veteran vehicles, veteran owned military vehicles, and we have a whole list of them coming through. They're all privately owned and operated by veterans, and they were used from World War II to present day. Uh, so we've got our M15 1A2 Mutt. The Mutt was the final line of Jeeps produced for the US military. Uh, then we've got an M38A1, the Jeep. The Willis M38A1 was produced from 52 to 71. And then what's our next vehicle? It's an M38A1 Jeep. The Willys M381 was produced from 1952 to 1971. And the next vehicle is an M35A2, a deuce and a half. I don't know, I must think it just went by. The two and a half military beasts can handle almost any kind of weather and terrain. Uh, the next vehicle is an M1038HMM. WV, also known as a Humvee. Humvee. They're going by right now. The four wheel drive military utility trucks. Um, they were used in Panama, the Desert Shield, Desert Storm, Somalia, Haiti, Bosnia, Kosovo, Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Uh, the Humvee became the vehicle backbone of the United States uh, forces around the world. And the last of the monster trucks coming up is an M9, M932A25 M9, ton truck tracker. Say that one five times. The M9399 is a five ton <laughs> military heavy truck designed to transport just about anything you can imagine. Cargo, weapons, troops, and refugees. All right. Uh, we all want to right. thank all those folks that brought those military vehicles through. And now we've got Flourish and Live Well. They're driving a fully restored 1972 VW bus to kick off the annual summer block party right after the parade until 5 p.m. Come enjoy great food, music, market, and fun at the corner of Sport Fisher and Pacific Coast Highway. All right, what do we got coming up next? Uh, next we have Mr. and Miss Southern California. No, it's not. The St. Paul's, Saint Lutheran, Paul's Lutheran Youth Band. Band. Right. They're directed by Jack Laura, and they're composed of musicians from grades three to eight. Uh, the summer camp is the only one in Orange County to feature marching band and concert band settings for pre-high school students. The band was formed to enhance the musical experience for youngsters. It extends into the summer. Faith. 
fellowship, teamwork, and perseverance. And what? who just passed by there, Jim? Thought that was the Miss and Mrs. Southern California. Okay, that was... Uh, Carolyn Carpenter-Nail. She's our reigning Miss Southern California. She's accompanied by Sarah Walker of Huntington Beach. And they're uh, part of the Community Action Team, a nonprofit organization. Focused on giving back to Southern California communities. So there's the St. Paul's Lutheran Youth Band. And listen to the music. I like their Hawaiian shirts, you know. Their uh, <laughs> grades from three to eight. Our summer camp is the only one in Orange County to feature a marching band and concert settings for pre-high school students. The band was formed to enhance the musical experience for youngsters that extend into summer. Faith, fellowship, teamwork, and perseverance, perse perseverance all describe this band. They look like they're having fun, too. Now we have the Angler, Senior Anglers uh, Club. It's a senior group, which is primarily a saltwater fishing club. They've created a foundation called the Oceanside Senior Anglers Foundation, where they take kids, wounded warriors, and other military personnel uh, fishing and provide some of the Boy Scout and Girl Scout camps in San Diego County with fishing gear. Good for them. <laughs> It's always fun to fish, <laughs> especially when you catch something. It's yeah. a little, <laughs> but I'm sure these anglers never miss, right? We used to do that growing up. We catch things at the pier, and on the way home, we'd lose the fish, so we didn't have to uh, clean oh. them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to a cat or something. Oh. Oceanside Anglers Club, lots of fun. And, you know, we've had an anglers club here for 70, 80 years or more here in Oceanside because it's a popular support or Next, po popular have, support. Next, we have the, what's this? Oceanside Troop. Theater Company. Right. They're, thir they're a local youth camp. They're performers from the Oceanside Theater Company that will be in the upcoming show titled 13, the Musical. And they're going to perform at the Sunshine Brooks Theater. Theater Sleepy Hollow will be the next showing at OTC in October. So check out all the upcoming events and get involved at OceansideTheater.org. And we're looking right at the theater across the street from right. us. The historic Sunshine Brooks Theater. Right. Built in 1936, by the way. Wow. Yeah, it's been a fixture in downtown. You know, next we have the Girl Scout Troop 1983, a multi-level Daisy and Brownie troop of 16 awesome girls based in South O. Our goals include sisterhood, friendship, leadership, community service, respect, and making the world a better place. Thank you to South O for all your support and buying I cookies. Happy 4th of <laughs> July. South O is such a great neighborhood yep. and community. And really, the Girl Scouts, an all-American institution. And I love their cookies, by the way. Thin yeah. mints. In the ice box. <laughs> yeah. And they've got a little bubble machine going on here with some bubble action. That's getting the crowd going, yeah, too. <laughs> Did you notice the horns finally died down and oh. the kids blew out one or the other? <laughs> hey, now we've got the Miss Black Global Pageants uh, bringing up this parade in a bunch of convertibles. We've got Mina Wiggins. She's Little Miss Black Global. And then followed by April Phillips, Miss Junior Teen Black Global. Destiny Perkins, Miss Black Global. Andrea McClue, Mrs. Black Global. Navea Amare Valle Hamid, Miss Teen Black Global California. And Nadia Jones Jr., Teen Black Global West Coast. Now these might not be in order because I see April and Mina here. So I, I announced them out of order, but I think you're gonna be able to tell uh, who these lovely ladies are, especially those families watching from home. And they certainly are beautiful and lovely. And we're, welcome to the Oceanside Parade. Nice looking cars too. Yeah. And they're beautiful crowns right. and they've got the wave down pout, with, which every princess needs to get that wave down. And it looks like they've got it. Were you a princess? 
Never. Never. I, I never made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> I would have voted for you. Oh. <laughs> I don't have the poise, Jim. I yes, don't have the do. poise. You have class and poise. <laughs> well, as we're waiting for another uh, group to come down, we see Cadence Dance Project uh, down the road here. And but they're a local dance studio located in the heart of Oceanside on Wisconsin Avenue. Cadence offers all the styles of dance for children 18 months to 18 years of age. Cadence prides itself in creating a safe space for youth to explore their passion to dance. Yes, Cadence Dance Project. While we're waiting for them to come closer again, we want to thank Genentech, our presenting parade sponsor. They're pioneers in the biotechnology industry. Uh, Tri-City Medical Center keeps Oceanside strong. Uh, the San Diego County Board of Supervisors, UPS Oceanside, located at 918 Mission Avenue. They're a supporter of the Independence Day Parade. Waste Management, of course. And there's so many more great sponsors. The City of Oceanside, the Oceanside Police Department, SNR Towing with all of their gracious support of the like, tow trucks where they have all the floats going up and down for the kids and adults, KOCT, Motion, Dorothy's Military Shop, NK Towing, another one surprising, supplying the towing and the trucks, and the yes. beds, downtown residents, Taste of Oceanside, Sunset Market. Oh, we got so many wonderful sponsors. Yes. And so many of these uh, folks and organization and businesses have been longtime supporters of the Oceanside Parade. And without them, this could not be possible. So we thank each and every one of our sponsors. And again, all of the volunteers that make this happen. And we want to thank KOCT especially for all of their volunteer work and all of the work that they're doing to pr produce this uh, production on television so you yes. can see it today and weeks to come. It'll be recorded All right. so you can do it. We've got a great view of those dancers coming down Coast Highway, Jim. Cadence Dance Project. That looks a lot. Oh, and we're going to go to CJ with our next interview. I'm here with a special guest today, a hometown hero, Daniel Gouliou. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you. Glad to be here. Such an exciting honor today, hometown hero. Um, this is another hero, you told me. Yes, this is Mr. Van Netter. He's my service dog. He's my third one from Canine Companions. And uh, yeah, I just love volunteering for Canine Companions and a lot of stuff. Yeah. Very special organization here in Oceanside. Um, some events coming up with that? Um, I'm the beer garden chair for uh, a dog fest that's going to be at, uh, at Liberty Station September 10th. Uh, K9.org to look up for a dog fest and find the San Diego one and we'd love to see you there. Always doing amazing work in the Oceanside community. A hometown hero, Daniel Gugliu. Thank you. Thank you. Another right. great shot of those dancers from Cadence Dance Project, giving it all they've got. Uh, great show, girls, great show. The, the Cub Scouts, today's scouting programs are designed for the entire family. They're perfect activity for every youth of ages five to 20. If you'd like more information on Scouting Group, your neighborhood, just go to bascout.org. I was a Cub Scout. <laughs> That's awesome, Jim. And you know, this is Cub Scout Pack 787 seven, eight, seven. here coming through. And I really like this multicolored Jeep here with the screaming eagle. Yeah. This, they've got seven siblings. That's a hot sauce born and raised in Oceanside, and they bring the heat with their ghost pepper hot sauce. Named after creators Alex and Jennifer's seven children, seven siblings hot sauce is Oceanside's favorite spicy condiment. Ooh, do you like hot sauce, Jim? I do, but do I haven't you? heard of this one, so I have to check it We're out. We're going to have to check it yeah, out. Absolutely. Seven siblings. <laughs> Just Definitely another. like a little kick kick and cook again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Let's see. Now, after that, we see Home of the Hawks. That must be Alamosa Park Elementary coming up here pretty soon. And we've got a band of kids on scooters. You know, Alamosa Park Elementary is home of the Hawks. They're a small but mighty school, and Alamosa Park's mission is to provide a learning environment that cultivates leaders by engaging the heart and mind of every student and developing a spirit of empathy, creativity, perseverance, and collaboration. But as I'm speaking, seven siblings, hot sauce is going by, and there must be those seven siblings. I can Congratulations. see the smoke coming out of that bottle. <laughs> And now we hear we're getting another look. Do you notice the pig look. at the end? Oh, oh yeah, I do see that piggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, here again, we've got the home of the hawks, and this is the Alamosa school that I just mentioned. And so just enjoy the sights and sounds of them walking by. It's an elementary school, and it uh, looks like they're dressed up very festively for the Oceanside Parade. I love the kids' helmets, by the way. Oh, and then they've got a giant red hawk their mascot on the Go back Hawk. of the truck. <laughs> Go Hawks. I imagine that Hawk is a little hot today <laughs> sitting in that well, sun. Especially if he had some of that hot sauce, hot sauce from seven right. siblings. Seven hot siblings <laughs> with a hot with Hawk. With a hot Hawk. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got a song. <laughs> Announcing isn't very easy, Jim, is it? But now what do we got coming up here? This is the D14. Pendleton Surf Club. All right. It's made up of a service of active duty and their families who are stationed at Camp Pendleton. The club is also open to reservists, retirees, DOD personnel, and all branches of the service, also Camp Pendleton and the surrounding community. The club has been established to spread the positive force of surfing and the military members here on the base that make the sacrifices on a daily basis for our country's freedoms. The club is fortunate to have the base located within 25 miles of coastline and some of the best breaks in Southern California. And I can agree to that, <laughs> uh, which are privileged to have the right in our own backyard. No matter what your level of degree or surfing, you're invited to come and share your stories, make new friends, and become a member of our special club, the, Cap the Pendleton Surf Club. All right. And, you know, they went by so fast, but Meals on Wheels went by. Uh, they, they combined community-based food distribution with Mobile Street Outreach. And we had a couple guys who are really, really quick. Want to thank them for their Meals on Wheels and what they support. Uh, learn more and get involved at Hum Re harmreductioncircle.org. And here we have the supporters of a Congress member, Mike Levin. Uh, is Mike's wife, in, is he walking in it? Nope, don't see him this time, but these are all his supporters. Uh, they proudly represents the Oceanside in California, 49th District, and he serves Veterans Affairs Committees and like to thank all of our hometown heroes. Thank you. All right. And then we've got the, um, yeah, I think it's the, the Demco, the Democratic Club of Carlsbad, Oceanside coming up. They're a, a Democratic Club. It, they foster and perpetuate the ideals and principles of the Democratic Party and stimulating active interest in government affairs. They promote the highest degree of well-being. This Democratic Club endorses and supports the Democratic Party uh, and their candidates locally, statewide, and nationally. Demco. Now, another great view here we see of, of uh, the parade pro, uh, progressing north on Coast Highway. And we've still got a view of Mike Levin's uh, supporters going by. I want to take, again, the time to thank all of our wonderful sponsors, Main Street, KOCT. Waste management. So many folks. The San Diego County Board of Supervisors. I know that Jim Desmond couldn't be here, uh, but, you know, they supplied a grant to help make uh, and fund this parade. So many uh, Medical Center, too. Yes. UPS. San Diego County Board of Supervisors. 
Now we've got, who we've got? Friends of the Oceanside Public Library are on their way. You know, library volunteers are hometown heroes for sure. Friends of Oceanside Public Library has over 600 volunteers. They range from age of 14 to 97. That's incredible. That is. They help as liter literacy tutors, library youth and adult support services. They are teen partners. And you see Friends of the Library board members and the library's lovable starfish mascot. And his name is Splash. He's out of water today. <laughs> and they have the bookmobile, of course. Beautiful bookmobile. The public library celebrates one of the greatest freedoms, the freedom to read. The library's bookmobiles deliver reading and world of information to library users across the ocean side. Your library is more than books. Visit the library to find out about the programs and activities for kids. Teens and adults, free for summer fun. Oceanside Public, right, right behind us where we're yes. sitting. <laughs> and we're so lucky to have such a wonderful library. CJ Demento, who's the head librarian, has done such a remarkable job. Uh, we're so, again, happy and proud to have and utilize our Oceanside Public Library system. Now we've got a car club. Uh, and it's the Poor Siempre yes. Car Club. They've been on one, one of our participants for many years. They would like to wish everyone a happy 4th of July, and we thank all our branches of the military for their service. Por siempre, for always. The Car Club would like to invite everyone to the annual Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, celebration, Sunday, October 22nd, 2023, right here in downtown Oprah, in all downtown Oceanside. Opera. It's <laughs> inside. Look at these car. I love them. I know. I, know. I love them they so much. They are so cool. And now they're passing the laws where the cars and the low riders now can come back into the cities and have oh, their parades that's too. Yeah, that's, that's great. So glad to see that. You know, everyone loves the vintage cars, how they have them styled and restored and to the T. They're so much fun to see. People enjoy the vintage, the classic, the low riders. You know, these are really, uh, you know, it's a great car club. You know, local residents here who are committing to, you know, really participating in so many of the events and then sharing their vehicles with us. I've seen you driving like this downtown oh. Coast Highway. Well, there, well just it wasn't watch on that. purpose. That, that was a pothole. That was a yes, pothole. <laughs> no, that's cool. They're great. They're fun and ride in, too. Yes, absolutely. You know, the time and talents to keep these vehicles operational again. A lot of fun. You bet. Got a little, is Camaro. that a Chevy? What, what's my? That's what a Chevy got? Impala. No, that's a little Ford there. I'm looking this at the, the Ford, pickup Ford truck. truck. I'm sorry. But that's a Chevy. <laughs> yeah. It's burning a little bit of oil, but okay. <laughs> There's an Impala. Yes. Chevy truck. You know, further down the road, uh, we've got another uh, uh, parade participant coming, but we're still enjoying all of these uh, low riders and uh, car Horse clubs. Horse the car car. Yes, absolutely. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Well, she's a cheerleader for there. these cars. Yeah. All right. You know, we, we've got so many of these participants, and again, the crowd, they're real crowd pleasers to see these vehicles. And now we've got, you know, coming up, it was the San Diego, um, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, Fallon Dafa Association. That's what it looks like, known Our as the Fallon Gong, is an ancient cultivation practice for from China for improving the body and mind. It consists of meditation and exercises to promote physical health and the mental harmony. Falun Dafa activates truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. Happy 4th of July. 
Yeah, so we're going to go to an interview here. We've got CJ, Eileen, and Gamaro. All right, everybody, welcome, welcome. We're here with the COO of Main Street Oceanside, Gamaro Esquero. Welcome. Um, can you tell us what's been going on with Main Street? Oh, yes, a lot going on here in downtown Oceanside. A lot of businesses activating themselves here for the summer. We have our beach service program that are as active at the beach. And we also have our Sunset Market happening every Thursday still. And upcoming in a few months is Taste of Oceanside that kicks off basically our shop local activities. We do everything about to cater to our downtown merchants to get support from the local community. So. Taste of Oceanside sells out every year, so get your tickets early. Please wave and smile to your family, then I'm going to kick it to CJ. Yes. Yes, and also you want to make sure that you go on and follow us on MainStreetOceanSite.com and subscribe to receive the information about what's happening in downtown. And so come see what we do and how we partner with our community doing great work in here in Oceanside. Yeah. Great. All right. And Kumaro, 27 years that we've been having yeah. this Independence Day parade. Amazing. Yes, it's been a, a good good ride so far. And uh, the community came out to support us. Jen and Tech is our title sponsor. Tri-City also a media sponsor. Tri-City makes this production happen, actually, so it's awesome. Uh, but then we also had our local store, UPS. Uh, they're the ones that's building and making sure that we do this every year. So thank you for that. And I have Tesla here. Unbelievable, right? Incredible energy. Yeah. Thank you, Main Street. Thank you. Thanks. Back to Christy. Thank you. And everybody, right. uh, have, happy 4th of July. And uh, come support our local businesses during that week. And we still are looking at the be, uh, beauty of the, uh, the Falun Dafa Association. It's uh, quite an amazing uh, yes. bunch of group of participants in our parade today. It's their first time, wow. I believe. Uh, yes, I've they're, never it's seen stunning. them before. Uh, they have got a beautiful presentation, a beautiful float, uh, their drum corps, and their colorful you know, outfits. So it's really, really amazing to see. And now we've got Mosin Transportation uh, coming behind this group, which again was quite large and very colorful. You know, Mosin is a family owned independent gas station and trucking company. They were established here in Oceanside in 1995. Uh, our commitment to offer customers the lowest possible prices, and that's true, and friendly service has been their goal and model since they first opened. There's one on Coast Highway, and there's just around one the on corner Bishop from you. Avenue, I know, just right around the corner. It's my neighborhood gas station. Thank you, Mosin. I believe they're also a sponsor of this event, if I'm not mistaken. They are. Next, we have SNR Towing coming, one of our sponsors, started in 1985. It has towing locations in Oceanside, Carlsbad, Vista, Temecula, Aguanga, Valley, oh. so so South, <laughs> Borrego <laughs> Springs, Fallbrook, and Julian. Years of hard work and good employees has turned SNR towing into one of North County's largest towing companies. Too much to drink, be safe and call SNR and give you faith and car and ride and not much more. Uber, Lyft, or ride. SNR Towing wishes you a safe and happy 4th of July and we thank them for all their participation, all the years of providing tow trucks for so many sports. <laughs> El Camino. All right, the El Camino High School Golden Pride Marching Band is very pleased to be back performing at the Oceanside Independence Day Parade. The band is honored to represent El Camino High School and Oceanside Unified School District. Uh, we hope you enjoy the music and so do they. Go El Camino. All right. This is great a great a high parade, isn't it? Band. Yes, it great. is. All right, and I believe we've got the El Camino High School cheer teams right. made up of varsity and junior varsity teams. They're led by Shannon Morrell and assistant coaches Tulsi Dolby and Janine Bird. The competitive cheer teams are the San Diego CIF Game Day Champions for 2019 and then again in 2021. They're gonna give us a little cheer there. Great group from the El Camino High School. That's El Camino, the Wildcats. Wildcats. 
I believe now we have next Mr. Miss and Miss Vista scholarship uh, pageants. It's uh, Miss Teen Vista 2022, Belene Hernandez. She's 17 years old and a recent graduate of Buena Vista High School. Belene was captain of the Maron Magic Dance Team and had a 4.3 GPA. Wow, that's great. And will study sociology in hopes of doing nonprofit work to help her community. Wow. The Vista Strawberry Festival Queen is Serenity Serda. She is 19 years old and currently a history major at Cal State, Cal State San Marcos, where she's working to get her bachelor's degree. Serenity loves cheering in her local university and in spare time finds herself reading a good book while cuddling with her dog, Oso. Okay, so now we we've got the them. Typhoon Athletics All-Star Cheer and Tumble. Uh, they feature ages 18 months and up, including adult tumble for all levels. The gym has first opened their doors in 2015 while in Okinawa, Japan. And now thanks to their beloved families and their recommendations, the gym has grown to what it is today. It's the Typhoon Athletics All-Star Cheer and Tumble. And next we have the Oceanside Rotary Club, which I'm a member of. And they're celebrating their 100th year next wow. year. Yeah, can you believe that? It's a service organization organization of made up of business and professional leaders and these are all the hard workers and all part of it this year yay Oceanside Rotary Club yay <laughs> 100 years 100 yay. years so we have <laughs> way to go <laughs> there they are <laughs> that's great that's great now we've got the North County African American mm. Women's Association the mission of this group is to increase self-sufficiency through providing education, health awareness, and life skill programs for women and girls in San Diego, North County. It's the North County African American Women's Association. Welcome to the parade, ladies. I see them in their cute little V-dub uh, convertible there. There's so many organizations that do so much to empower our citizens, give opportunity, education. So all of these organizations, many of them are civic organizations that better our community. And what do we have coming up here? I believe it is. Well, we're, we're excited about whatever it is, right? Works. <laughs> coming. It's we can hear it. Yes, we can hear it coming. All right. It looks like it is Bellamonte uh, Montessori Academy. Uh, they're free Montessori and project-based charter school. The Western Association of Schools and Colleges accredited are open to all transitional kindergarten, age four to eighth grade, and they're located in Vista. They serve all of North San Diego County and beyond. And then we've got the Pop Warner. All right, Pop Warner for 52 years. The Oceanside Pop Warner football and cheerleading program has been part of the Oceanside community. We have a distinguished line of athletes that continue to come out of our beautiful city. Oceanside Pop Warner is committed to developing young students on and off the field. Wow. That's a truck. Yeah, S that's a truck. Towing. That's SNR We thank towing. them again. <laughs> thank them so much for their flatbed trucks. Yeah, <laughs> Look at the absolutely. great group. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. And you see all the boys and girls that participate in par Pop Warner football. And this is a kick and a half for them to be in the parade on that truck, too. Oh, I bet. And the parents are walking behind. <laughs> With the little ones right, in tow. Right, right, right. <laughs> Oh, look at that great aerial view of Coast Highway, you know, the parade going past the Oceanside Public Library. It's such a beautiful day, Jim. And, you know, here we've got another parade co uh, participant coming up to us. I believe and it's, a it's Toastmasters. Toastmasters. It's an international organization composed of thousands of clubs devoted to helping people overcome their fear of public speaking and fostering leadership skills. Check Toastmasters.org on the internet to find a club near you. <laughs> All right. And they help people with public speaking 
Um, unlike us who stumble over our words, they probably <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. never mess up, right? <laughs> right, so. never, 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 never. <laughs> All right. So then. We have coming up, I believe it's the Oak Tree Democrats, of Democrats of Carlsbad and Oceanside Democratic Club. Welcome San Clemente Mayor Chris Duncan running for state assembly. These three clubs focus on educating our citizens and elected representatives about senior issues, community needs, and social justice. Everyone is, joining. Everyone is welcome to join. All right, and then uh, Studio Ace. They're a local arts education nonprofit, and their mission is to enrich lives through arts, community, and education. They're located next to the Mission Branch of the Oceanside Public Library, and they provide art classes for all ages and skill levels and free art experiences at fairs and festivals. Studio Ace presents Valley Arts Festival, an annual event celebrating the San Luis Rey Band of Indians, the Louisiana tribe, and Oceanside's very first peoples. Studio Ace invites you to come in and create with them. Next, we have the North Coast Vets Corvette Club. All oh right. boy, do I love seeing oh, these vets too. in the parade every year. Yes. Celebrating 70, oh, 70 years of Corvettes? Wow. <laughs> uh, 45 years of North Coast Vets Club in North County. These beautiful cars are here to share the celebration of our nation's independence. A social <laughs> club that has raised almost $400,000 for military veterans over the past 10 years of the Vets and Vets Ooh. Car Show and shares a multitude of events, meetings, theater, and most importantly, driving events within San Diego County to cross, uh, across our county. Have a Corvette? Yeah, I'd love one. And want to be part of a larger community? Check them out. Now they've got the new all-electric ones, too. Yeah. My neighbor has one. Oh, Northcoastvets.org. They've got the Stingrays. They've got the 80s and the 90s. They've got the newer models. You know, they're really, really sharp, as my dad would say. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're fun to drive. And everybody gets noticed in a vet, by the way. That's right. <laughs> So we've got a break coming up here, but now we've got the Filipino American Cultural Organization coming down along Coast Highway on the parade route. You know, this organization was established in 1976. Their annual cultural Filipino fiesta is celebrated every second Saturday in the month of June with their collaboration with the Oceanside Public Library. They were just down here having that celebration. And their food is so good with the lumpia and all of the different dishes. Yeah, this organization has community programs that include cultural dance for both adults and young people. They're directed by uh, Ms. Henry Fulmar, Agnes Fernandez, and Belle Limoges, Tagalog language Tagal program. Tagalog. Ta okay, you say it for Tagalog. me. Tagalog. Tagalog. Oh, thank you so much. See? You want to take the rest of that? Oh, Tagalog language Please program. Help me. Please scholarship help me. program. Both <laughs> in the United States and the Philippines. And the senior program. Last June 10th, 2023, just a couple of days ago, the FACO, Philippine American Cultural Association, celebrated their 22nd annual Filipino Fiesta and Crown. Gina Doing, Miss Senior, Phil Lamb, 2023. Josefina Pisco Devera, Miss Senior, Phil Lamb, 2023, California. Rosemary Peralta, Miss Senior, Phil Lamb, San Diego. Miriam Day, Miss Senior, Mrs. Senior, Phil Lamb, North County. Oh. D. Weber, Mrs. Miss Senior, Phil M. Oceanside. They had a lot of winners, didn't yes. they? Yes. Miss Phil Lamb, 23. Rodero La Young. Miss Phil M. Global, Alice, Alicia Calvins, Clavins, Miss Phil M. USA, Vilma Eris, Miss Phil M. California, Dr. Ida Alfonso, Mil, Phil M. San Diego, Thalia Serguina, Miss Phil M. North County, Vergia Flem I know why you threw this to me now. <laughs> Miss Phil M. Oceanside, Miss Pre Team Phil M. USA, Hazel Omatabang. Miss Preteen Phil M, California, Alexia Pena Florida, and Miss Pream Phil M, San Diego, Brooklyn, Hope Socro. 
Miss Printy, Miss Pre TM Phil M, Poga, Darian Tidewell. Little Miss Phil M, USA, Scarlett, Erica Abo. Good thing they got a lot of cars. Little yes. Miss Phil M, Poga, USA, Noah. Albert de Jesus. Oh, you got Whoa. through that. Whoa. But you know, we have one of the largest Filipino populations in North County in California. Uh, you know, Oceanside just prides itself on our diversity and we embrace the Filipino culture right. as they, they uh, celebrate with us. And they have great parties. I've been to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Another SNR towing truck bringing that group along. And all of those princesses we just and announced that you mentioned. Yes. They're all floating right by on the bed of an SNR tow truck. It's the Little Miss <laughs> and Miss Preteen Phil Lamb and Little Mr. Pokey. Po Pogey. Pogey. And Mr. Preteen Pre Pogey. Pogey. There we go. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. And what's coming up next here? I believe we It is have G3. So is it the Oceanside Unified, Unified School, School District. District? Right. All right. With over 16,000 students. I'm a graduate of the Oceanside Unified School District. They probably don't want to claim me now. But prepares graduates for college and career <laughs> readiness by teaching them to be responsible citizens and ambitious future leaders. Their trustees are Rachel Alvarez, President, Dr. Stacey Beguin, Vice President, Mike Blessing, Clerk, Eleanor Evans, is, and Nancy Locone are also uh, directors on that. Superintendent, Dr. Julie Vitale, and Executive Cabinet members, Dr. Mercedes Lovey, Dr. Andy Norman, Dr. Todd McAteer, Dr. Jody Sparks, Donald Benz and Al and Gavin's executive assistants. We thank all of them for being part of the um, Oceanside uh, Unified Schools District. Yeah, also the Oceanside Unified School District Transportation Department. They are exhibiting their new zero emission school bus, the electric school bus. How about that? I wow. didn't know we even had school buses I, I, and anymore. And I didn't know we had. I mean, that looks like a traditional gas-powered bus, so I'm very impressed. It's all electric. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we've got local Vokes. Uh, the local Vokes are a VW enthusiast who've come to support the community. Uh, they're just happy to share their cars, enjoy the weekend in support of Oceanside, their hometown heroes, and our country's independence. What's not fun having riding in a VW, especially these classics? Yeah, those are great. They got the Baja Bug, they got the convertible van, they've got the girls screaming with the, the flags waving. We see you girls, the we see you. The buggies. <laughs> You know, they really became such a beloved icon for so many of yep, an yep. era, and they're still so popular. So, VWs all the way. Doing a little twirl for us right there in the center of the intersection. Really cool shot from the aerial camera guys. Actually, Thanks these are that. the precursor to our roundabouts they're planning. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. But you look at that great view they're showing us there. It's a great view of the parade and the intersection and these wonderful classic cars doing sure. their thing. Local Vokes. <laughs> and they got the little green one pulling up the rear, but there's a little, there's a little uh, truck coming from the back. Right. <laughs> and next we have coming up the Oceanside San Diego Lodge number 381, the Masonic Lodge. I'm to be a member yes. of that. Also okay. was chartered in 1906 and been a continuous operation for 117 years. The Masons of California have donated over $300,000 to San Diego County mm -hmm. Schools in the past several years. Our Masonic family includes Order of Eastern Star, Masonic Youth Groups for girls and boys. And for information, visit OceansideFreemason.org. Thank you for being part of our parade today. Yeah. Well, boy, Jim, you're involved in a lot of organizations, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, just a couple. And you are busy.
Well, another a... SNR towing truck. Yes. Thank you to the uh, Stephen Rusty for the SNR towing for their flatbed and for the participation. Absolutely. And, and, and next we have yeah. coming up after this are the Shriners of San Diego, Albar Shrine. I'm a man or met a member of that and past oh president of that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These little funny little cars coming your way are quarter scale replicas of 1914 T Birds. Their pride and joy are their drivers who are members of the Albar Shrine of the Tizzy Lynn. Tin Lizzy, I'll get it right, <laughs> parade unit. Most, if not all, the Tin Lizzy drivers are veterans representing all five armed services and their service plans, plans and the Korean War to the day, today present day conflicts with some of our younger members currently serving over days. They're noisy, that's for sure. Those little cars are bound to bring smile and faces to the young and alike. The shrine is the world's greatest philanthropic and Masonic affiliated organization for over a half a million, half a dozen million left. Shriners right. are easily recognized by their red fares and fez and where they are completely dedicated and supported alone. There are 22 Shriners hospitals and that's the most important part of it. Uh, for these hospitals are located throughout North America and afford, and afford the amenities assistance what? to every child in the hospitals at no cost. Thank well, you. Going by is the Oceanside Cultural Arts Foundation. They promote arts in Oceanside and beyond. We want to thank them so much for, for bringing culture to Oceanside, for bringing and supporting the arts in Oceanside. So thank you very much for OCAF. And they provide the student artists opportunities and venues to hone their skills and showcase their talents, and as uh, well as the uh, scholarships, too. All right. Well, look at the purple pig. That's the Elks. Oh. <laughs> That's the Elks Club. All Unfortunately, right. we don't have. The Elks Club has no, we, been very. We do. Very, Oceanside. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the Oceanside Elks Club has been a member of this community for many, many years, providing numerous uh, scholarships and lots of wonderful things that the Oceanside Elks do here in Oceanside. They're very active in, um, you name it, across the, the side. Well, thank you, Oceanside Elks. I'm not a member of that. Oh, uh, yeah. You're a member of that <laughs> no, too? No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't have time for that. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> but they do great work. They're, they're, they're great. Oh, let's see. Who's this next? It's it's H6, the Hong Konger oh. Club. They're a nonprofit organization, and they help Hong Kong immigrants to settle in and give back to the community. They want to say thank you, America, for the opportunity to live in a free country. This is the Hong Konger Club. Very so good. folks from Hong Kong appreciating the American way of life. And next we have Vets for You Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Uh, they're a cause-based plumbing, heating, and AC business committed to a higher industry standard by educating and empowering the customer with an honest, unbiased, professional opinion of what they truly need. They support and incentivize their employees and partners with proper education, high performance training opportunities to better themselves, which improves the livelihood of customers and families in the communities. A portion of all proceeds are donated to local veterans charities. Thank you for being part of it. <laughs> wow, they're a large group. They huh? are. That's for you. They, they must have compiled all of their uh, mobile liability abilities to, to participate in this parade. Nobody's getting any plumbing fixed this morning, <laughs> but you call but us this but afternoon. they're on their we'll way. To, they're, they're on, on their, their way. way. Right. Vets for you. <laughs> That's wonderful. No leak goes undetected, probably. <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> All right. Now we've got uh, Mr. Citizen Patriot. Is that who we've got here? I believe so. Yes, it is. All right, Please. let's see. Portraying our beloved Mr. Citizen Patriot, who's appeared with us five times, is the Los Angeles social activist and homelessness resolution, Ted Hayes. He's always honored to be here celebrating the birth of our union. Ted says his patriotic personage of Mr. Patriot is in honor of our beloved U.S. military veterans, active duty personnel, as well as first responders, such as law enforcement and emergency, along with so many others. 
a one-hit song. He appears at another parade, uh, public functions, schools of all levels, from pre to collegiate. Uh, you view his website at mrpatriot.us. And next we have uh, Boy Scouts Pack 752, of which I was a member oh, many, many goodness. years ago. Oh, I'll tell goodness. you that. I've got to tell you that. Wow. They, <laughs> <laughs> their Pack and Boy Scout troop, originally founded in 1946 on Camp Pendleton, now chartered by the First Presbyterian Church. Awesome Oceanside. Our Cub Scout ranks start kindergarten, continued fifth grade. Cub Scouting focuses on the home and neighborhood with a focus on the interactive activities with fun in mind. Troop 752 ranging from sixth grade to seniors high school. The aim of scoutings are character development, leadership development, citizenship training, and personal fitness. Oh my goodness. Jim, you've been involved in everything. Miracosta College, they're proud to celebrate a legacy of over 80 years of service. Did you go to Miracosta, Jim? I did. I graduated oh from there. <laughs> <laughs> Went on to another college. They, they boast of one of the highest university transfer rates in San right. Diego region, and they offer a wide variety of classes designated to getting you on a great career. Transfer to a university or just have fun. And Fall that's classes it. start August 21st. Apply on line today and you can almost go for free today too the way it's all set up that's wonderful yeah Jim has been a part of uh, almost every single parade participant that has gone by Coast Highway <laughs> Not today. really. It's really amazing <laughs> except for the twirlers that's right I never made that one <laughs> or this one whatever <laughs> what do we've got coming it's up left over from year? Mike Levin that barely right. made it he's well, while we're waiting for the next group of folks to come by, again, we can't thank our sponsors enough. Main Street Oceanside, Genentech, you know, they pioneer the biotechnology industry and they revolutionize the treatment of some of the world's most complex health challenges. Genentech wishes you all a happy and safe 4th of July weekend. And Tri-City Medical Center, they're happy to return as a sponsor of the 26th annual Oceanside Independence Parade to show their support for Oceanside and honor hometown heroes. Genetic. I did mention that. You just yes. mentioned that, right? Yes. Waste now, what management. we've got coming up here now? This coming up now is the Civil Air Patrol Sky right. Hot Cadet Squadron 47 out of Carlsbad. They are located in, uh, in Carlsbad. The Civil Air Patrol is an all-volunteer auxiliary of the United States Air Force. Their cadet program transfers teenagers between ages 12 and 21 into dynamic Americans and aerospace leaders through a curriculum that focuses on leadership aerospace, fitness and character. To find out more, go, air, go civilairpatrol.com. Right. All Civil right. Air Patrol Skyhawks. I have a feeling you can learn how to fly too. <laughs> well, and yep, flight great opportunities. Beautiful shot. Yeah, great, definitely. Yeah, you see that beautiful oceanside library fountain, and we've got another parade participant coming up here. We can't wait to see who they are. You know what? This parade is it's gone by so fast, yes. but there's been so many participants from all over the county, and that's what makes it such a great parade. And we're looking literally down Pierview Avenue, right at the pier down there. We can see the ocean in the distance. Uh, what more could you ask for, right? Just to, to be able to do that and see that. Oceanside is such a great place to live, and uh, we train, just appreciate it. Amtrak's going by down there. We can oh, see it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, the train. All right, okay. we're going to toss it to CJ and Eileen. They've got a few words to say. What a wonderful tradition here in Oceanside. We are slowly wrapping up the parade. We're so, so happy to be with you today, tuning in, and uh, we hope we see you around this summer. The 27th annual Independence Day Parade. Thank you all. Have a happy 4th of July. That's a wrap. All right. We're still here. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's still have, more to we come. We haven't gone. There's still more to come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. I believe we have next is the core management, possibly. Well, they want to wish all Osiders oh. an awesome summer. 
And also we have the California Republican Veterans Association. California, it's CRVA as a chartered organization of California it's the GOP. the Republican Vet Women's Club. Right. And yeah. its primary goals are to take care of our veterans and family members, health and welfare, places to live. Every veteran belongs, brings a strong sense of pride, loyalty, skills, leadership, and patriotism. And I love this flag that they're walking down uh, Coast Highway to the north toward Camp Pendleton. Yeah, beautiful American flag. Right. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous picture here coming along Coast Highway and that Blowing view. in the wind. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> All right. And they're bringing up the rear with some of their candidates they've got, Josh right. Rains and Tom Rosellis. Then we have, uh, looks like a sidecar tours here. That's right, Pegasus uh, Pegas Sidecar Tours is based out of Oceanside and has been providing guided, narrated tours on two-person sidecar motorcycle. Sounds like fun uh, <laughs> since 2018. Bring your family, bring your pup, ride the coast as you learn about our amazing city in this private narrated tour. Up to three passengers can ride on one sidecar Rig book your tour today for a truly unique way to experience Oceanside. Pegasus Sidecar Tours. Looks good. Yeah. Well, now we've got the Oceanside Breakers coming up towards us, Jim. Uh, they're the largest youth sport organization in Oceanside. They serve over 3,000 players every year. They were founded in 1977, and, and they've been an organization serving the community for 46 years. Uh, so they serve youth from recreational and competitive programs, different programs they offer are ankle busters, ages two through four. Uh, they introduce soccer, recreational fall and spring seasons to four and 18 year olds, and competitive programs 17 to 18 year olds. The Oceanside Breakers host two soccer tournaments a year currently. The Beach Soccer Championships, or BSO Cha, as some call it, the largest sand soccer tournament in the West Coast, and Breakers SoCal Cup, one of the fastest growing youth soccer tournaments in San Diego County. Riding they on SNR towing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And now we have the Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Uh, it's an all volunteer nonprofit organization that builds and delivers new beds and bedding oh. to kids 3 to 17 in North County area that are sleeping on the floor because they do not have a bed. Their motto, no kid sleeps on the floor in my town. Oh. If you know someone who needs assistance with a bed, please go to shpbeds.org. Oh, what a wonderful organization. Yeah, it is. Now we've got the Water Utilities Department. Your Oceanside Water Utilities Department celebrates the heroes that deliver safe, reliable drinking water to your community every day. They make sure wastewater is properly treated. This award-winning team includes all sorts of jobs like engineers, mechanics, plant operators, chemists, computer specialists and environmental staff, they all work together to provide and protect this life-giving resource, water. And we thank them very much. And we have the best desalinization plant in the whole county. Is that right? It's the only one, I believe. Oh, yeah, well right, that's in the wonderful. Valley. Yeah. And we all know how important water is, and we thank our, our utility workers here in the city of Oceanside. I and think their it's... fine equipment that they're showing off for us that enables them to do the job they do every day. I believe it's about 38% of the water comes from the desalinization of an ocean. Wow, ocean that's impressive. Yeah. Water is so important. We've got more vehicles coming down here from that same uh, group here. It's nice that ocean guys, Oceanside can show off their new trucks and their trucks and all mm -hmm. of the things that keep us in water, <laughs> that keep us running. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they've got a, a few folks here that are passing out things to the crowd. And they're in their hazmat looking suits, but they're yeah. greeting everybody. <laughs> Just parade on the fly here. Look at the size of that rotter truck. Wow. That's huge. Well, this is an impressive group here. Yeah. 
a Vactor truck. Yes, well, let's hope and you thank you to let's City hope you of don't Oceanside. Need that. <laughs> yeah, and now we've got the O-Side Cruisers. Oceanside Cruisers is our local mm -hmm. classic car club. No fees or dues. We meet every Saturday at Start Fresh Cafe. All classics welcome. We attend and support all local car show events. That's amazing, that truck, too. It's just going by. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, well, look the at cruisers. these fun vehicles. These cruisers. These are great. Look at the rods. There's really a great variety of vehicles. Yeah. Everything from a, a medical uh, van for uh, the Army and different types of vehicles and hot rods. To former... To Mustangs? No, no Mustangs. I didn't see a Mustang. Sorry about that. T-Birds. Well, we got some hot rods here. <coughs> T-Birds. Yeah. Hot rods. Wow. Next, we have the Oceanside Roller Skating. It's a local roller skating community that provides free events to families and friends. Their mission is to provide a space for the community to connect and express themselves through a community interest. Their motto is, the best way to be healthy is be happy. And one way to do that is through roller skating. Oceanside Roller Skating has hosted over 200 free events that has grown to the following uh, 6,000 people in just over two years. You can listen to music and contact with the group Free for Friday Nights oh. on ML at Cape Art in Oceanside and Sunday mornings, the Oceanside Pier. Follow them on Instagram at Oceanside underline roller skating. I do see them on Instagram and it looks like so much fun. I wish I had balance. I, I'd love to participate. I roller skated as a kid, as a teenager. I just can't do it anymore, but That's more power to you, group. And, and now we've got the Boys and Girls Club of Oceanside. They're a dynamic community organization. They're dedicated to inspiring, developing, and enriching young people, empowering them to realize their utmost potential as confident, responsible, and compassionate members of society. The Oceanside Boys and Girls Club, and Jim, you're gonna tell me that you went to the Oceanside Boys Club, right? When it first opened up in the 1950s, late 50s. Right. Next to Brook Street School. Yep, I'm telling you. I mean, you. Brook Street pool, pool, pool. There's nothing Jim hasn't done. Oh, yeah. Now, now what do we got coming up here? We got the Moose Lodge. Absolutely. The Oceanside Moose Lawn is a community organization in South Oceanside that likes to have fun. The Moose are committed to helping our children and seniors. The Lodge is celebrating its 75th anniversary, helping the community. We are proud of our accomplishments and have had a great time doing it. They right. do. And, and I've been to the Moose Club. I, I was very impressed. They've got a really great uh, nightclub kind of situation and bar. It was really, really fun to attend with a group too, of the friends. I understand, too, the Moose Lodge and the Odd Fellows are coordinating together on, on some of the different projects within the city, too. Okay. So I think that's great. Another great shot of these creeps and jeeps coming here. Right. They were founded in 2012 as a social club, and over the years, they've evolved to be a CORVA, the California Off-Road and Vehicle Association, and Tread Lightly Club, and they perform off-road and trail events as well as trail cleanups while they're out there on those trails. Good for them. Oh, you know what? I have to mention, we do pros. They use video marking to help businesses be seen within their local communities. Communities. Our team is made up of young, motivated professionals. They're excited about making an impact in the city. They help nonprofit associates by offering free video marketing so they can be a part of the solutions within the city. And this is their way of helping small businesses. And I just want to shout out because my friend Nefu, her brother, owns this company. So, hey, They're we kidding. do pros. I'm not sure if the Mariposa Clubhouse Mental Health Senator fit in the middle of that, but we wanted to call that out too. And the Oceanside Firefighters Association, uh, it's a 1952 Mack fire engine owned in operation by the Oceanside Firefighters Association. Served the city over 25 years, responding to numerous fires and other emergencies. Hundreds and hundreds of dozens of, dozens of volunteer hours were reported uh, to restore this magnificent machine uh, working again, and they're proud to display her. Yeah, and I think that wraps That's up it. our parade. I can't believe it's over with. That's fantastic. I mean, you've got the Oceanside Police bringing everything up. 
I want to thank you. It was cool. Just great oh, working with yes. you. Thank you keep you. us going thanks straight and everything. Thanks to KLCT for having us. Thank you to us. KLCT. You bet. It's always so much fun. A little At treacherous, Street, but so much fun. All their volunteers and everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think with that, we sign off. Yeah, just want to thank everyone for another great parade, all those people who participated, all those people that helped make this happen. And, uh, you know, Main Street Oceanside and KOCT and all those wonderful sponsors. We can't forget the volunteers who've done so much. And all of the volunteers and the vol from KOCT, too, that helped produce and put this all together today. We thank all of them there for their time and their effort and their talent to do it. Thank you until next year. KOCT, the voice of North County.